Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm going to show you how to do this really cool beach and people double exposure landscape images. Okay, to do this we'll be using Photoshop obviously and um, we'll be using a couple of different layers, some layer masks and a gradient background. If you've never done this before I'll talk you through it to explain it and if you have it will show you some new ideas that you might like to use. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is have a file with a picture of a face and also a picture of a beach. And once we have got that, we need to select the face from the image that the face is on. So we're gonna to go to select, select subject. And we're gonna click on select subject. Once we've done that, we've got a flashing line. We're gonna use the layer mask to mask out all the bits that are on the face. Once we've done this, we're gonna add a new layer we're going to put that behind it and on the new layer we're going to make a gradient we're going to use black and white so we have a black and white face eventually and we're going to use the gradient tool which is on our menu behind the paint bucket or just down here to do a gradient we're going to click on one corner and drag along to the other corner and you can see we have it dark or we can have it light we're going to have it light like this and we can just get it exactly how we want it okay once we are happy with our gradient we are then going to click on the layer with the face and we are going to make this layer black and white so we're going to go to image we're going to make adjustments we're going to click adjustments and we're going to go to black and white once we click on this we're going to click ok we'll have a black and white image it's a bit bright at the moment so i'm going to change the levels to make it fit better so we're going to, go to adjustments and levels i'm going to bring the black in slightly here a little bit more contrast and just bring the white over slightly here move the grays a little bit darker so we've got a bit more of a contrasting image and then we're going to click ok now you can see we've got the beach and with the beach image obviously when you get your images you might want to start experimenting with where they're going to go so if you change the opacity to about 50 percent you can then move the image around to find the best arrangement of the two things i've got it where i want it from earlier so i'm going to move it back there and the reason i've got it here is i've got like the, the sea lined up with the mouth the clouds lining up with the hair and etc to create that sort of hair effect here now what we need to do to make it into a double exposure is on the layer with the beach we need to add a blank layer mask so we click on this one here we also need to make it slightly less see-through about there and now okay we go on to the layer mask here we then need to select black in the paint and the paintbrush then we've got options of our size. We can move the slidey bar here. I always prefer to use a soft round brush, which I found in the general brushes. Click on the little arrow and click on soft round. Once you've got that, you can then to mask out areas that you don't want in your finished image. So I want to lose some of this around here. I want to keep some of the sky here some of the eyes around here and then to check what it looks like put the opacity back to a hundred percent and you can start to see how the image is appearing and move it back down a bit and start masking out other areas that you wish to mask out like so Now, I find if you have a very large brush area, you get a really nice blended effect. And again, change the opacity back up so you can see what's happening. Now, need to do a little bit more blending up here. A little bit more blending around this bit here. Maybe look at the bits down this bit. Maybe go onto the move tool slightly. Do more clicks around like so. 
Now you can experiment. Do you want the background black and white as well? In which case, image adjustments. And then black and white. I think that looks quite effective. Or do you want to leave it as it was so we can go edit, undo black and white? And then we've got that and just fade out a little bit here. Right, so. And that pretty much is how to make a double exposure using Photoshop. You can see that we've got the two layers. So we've got our face layer that we've cut out with a mask around it. And we've got our background layer, which we've faded out. We can just experiment with the opacity a little bit. Bring it down ever so slightly and you get more of the image showing through like this. And then obviously we've got the gradient in the background. Okay. Excellent. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video. You might have noticed I'm wearing one of our new hoodies that we've got now to go with the Nature of Flowers thing available at natureoflowers.com. Check out the website if you're interested in getting a hoodie. And if not, don't worry. Thanks for watching and here's a thumbs up. If you like the video, please leave one. And feel free to hit that subscribe button if you are interested in subscribing. Okay, thank you very much and have a good day.